welcome back to the MS Project 2010 video tutorial series by group.net. In lesson 2.6, we see how to set non-working days for a project. So, first we see how to make a project calendar, how to define working and non-working days, how to define working times, how to set holidays, and what are the other details that we can use to customize our project calendar. To open the project calendar, we go to the project tab, click on change working time. By default, the standard project calendar is chosen. If we click the arrow on the right, it shows the three standard templates which are available, one which has a 24 hours working, one which has a night shift and one which is standard in which there is a working hour from 8 to 5 with a one hour lunch break and the working hour days are from Monday to Friday. We can use it to customize and make our own calendar. So to do that, let us say we go to create new calendar. We can give the name that we want for our calendar. Let us say ABC calendar. If we click create new base calendar, we can define all the parameters. Otherwise, we can make a copy of any of the three standard templates which are given whatever is closest to the kind of calendar we need. So let us say we take the standard calendar. We change the name once again and we click OK. So now the heading shows our ABC calendar. Next we click work weeks and then go to details. By default, project default times are set for all the days and the times. So we can click on Sunday and we can set the day to non-working. We can click Monday and we can set the day to working. By default, it shows the work from 8 to 5. Let us try and change one of these parameters. So instead of 8, let us make the Monday from 9 to 6. Tuesday, let us say we continue with the same. Wednesday also, we choose 8 to 5. Thursday, we choose 8 to 5. If there is any day in between which we want to set as a holiday, any day of the week, we can just click to set days to non-working time. Same way for Friday and let us say Saturday we want to set the day to non-working time. So we choose this and we say OK. Now if you see the calendar, you click on any date on a Sunday, it will show that that particular date is non-working. If you choose on a Monday, it is working and it is from 9 to 6 as we had defined. If we choose a Tuesday, it is 8 to 5. Wednesdays are 8 to 5. Thursdays 8 to 5. And Fridays 8 to 5 as we have defined. And all Saturdays again become non-working. Now in the next step, we choose specific dates in between the working week to declare as holidays. So we go to exceptions and let us say for example we want to declare 25th of April as a holiday for some reason. So we click that date and we can give whatever is the occasion. So let's say we say ABC holiday and we can say that it starts on such and such date and finishes on the same date. Let us say there is another date. Let us say in June, we want to say that from June, in June 12th to 14th is a holiday. So we can give the occasion again. Let us say ABC2, a holiday. And 
we can say that it starts on the 20th of June and is there till let us say the 22nd of June. So this way we can define the holidays throughout the project calendar as in if the project is expected to last for one year we can mark all the holidays of that year one year two year as is required. Then to make further customization we can go to options and we can change the way the week starts the fiscal year start as per month the default timings the hours per day the hours per week days working days per month etc now when we make all the tasks and define abc calendar as the calendar for our project all the holidays and non working times that we have set will be calculated in making the start and finish dates by ms project that is once we put all the tasks and all the durations it will not include the non working times these holidays will be considered by ms project directly so to summarize first we saw how to make a project calendar how to define working and non working days how to define working times how to set holidays and certain additional details this presentation material is available on group.net thank you for joining us on this tutorial in the next part of the video tutorial series at group.net we will look at how to enter project properties